Miley Cyrus <gasps> what in up, person. Ryan. Hi, everybody. Yay. Thank you for having me. You know, we, we talked to you the other day, and we all left the show going, there's so much wisdom. Yeah, we like, were like, you had taking so much notes. wisdom. <laughs> so I know we're about to talk about something deep here, but I have a question. Did you always have a gold microphone? Uh, always. No. Or when I, an upgrade? When I first started, it was a Radio Shack microphone uh-huh. that I bought. Whatever. My own You've had it the whole time you've been doing the morning show. Well, I think when I did the morning show, they gave me this as a gift. <laughs> this one's very cool. I'm yeah. going to need this. This is, uh, this is yeah. my, my gift. For from everyone who can't see show. him, you know, he has yeah. like a sick gold mic. And his yeah. name's engraved in it. Oh, you're such a boss. Well, listen, you, you know, you get up every morning at 4 o'clock Honestly, for 15 years, they give you a microphone. I was just complaining to Ryan about my busy schedule, and then I just, in the middle of it, felt like <laughs> It's funny because she's like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm like, tell me what tired yeah. feels like. I told you about this. I saw you out one night, and I told you just relax, but you're like me. You can't do it. I can't do it. He's like, yeah, I keep thinking I'm just going to go to an island one day and chill. I'm like, it's not going to happen. I do that, and the minute I land, I'm bored. Well, yeah. I'm different. I now, if I get to a place where I'm not busy, I can relax. Yeah. I, it's just that I got to know I'm coming back to something. I mm-hmm. just get, I go either, I can't, I can't adjust quickly. I need like, once I get into the zone, like, I don't know if you're a good, like, oh, I can take a week and then you can get back into things. I'm like, I take like a year. I haven't been working in like a year. I'll just go home and then just like never come back. <laughs> and my, my dad was, was kind of like that. My dad, once he kind of was just working in the schedule. He, he married my mom. He had us. He wanted to take this time off, and he went to Nashville, and then he really, it was so hard for him to pry himself from the farm and get out on the road right. and all that because it's just such a different lifestyle. Did you really take a year off? I, for the last, I'm trying to think of when, younger now, I would have come and seen you. I think I came and saw you the day Malibu was releasing for the first yeah. time. Mm-hmm. And then... After that, I kind of, I went and did, I did the voice, but that honestly, it feels like I'm so close to home yeah. and um, I love it. I loved doing it so much that that, that was easy. didn't really feel like work. And then I haven't put music out in about over a year. So what did you enjoy most in kind of having a flexible life? I think I, you know, obviously I love being with my animals, so I just spent so much time with them. I, again, you know, to talk about Malibu, I just like fell even more in love with Malibu, spending a lot of time. Um, you know, paddleboarding and things like that. And I'm just like spending time with nature. I love yeah. nature. I, I just, Lots I w- of hiking. Would you like, if the genie gave you a year off, Sissany, what would you do? I know you just had two well, babies. I, so. I had maternity leave and I was gone for four months. Yeah, but that's I, not. But I could have been back within three, which I'm saying like, it was like almost, I was going antsy just being yeah. off that long. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think our jobs, like you just miss it. You miss so the action. So I, I went my thing that I got into like a lot was stand up paddle boarding while I was taking my time off. That's hard. I love it. <laughs> but so I came back one day. Liam's like an amazing surfer. He's like pretty much good at every sport. It's annoying. And he was out yeah. of town. And so I asked one of his friends, I'm like, yo, why Liam's gone? Could you like give me lessons? So when he's back, I can actually go out surfing with them because I'll be so much fun. So then I said, I'll fine. I'll go out on the paddle board and I'm out on the paddle board. And I was waving to tell his friend, look at me, look how good I'm doing. I didn't know it was the signal for distress. Oh, All no. of the police showed up. Everyone. <laughs> And they were like, were you the one in the neon bodysuit? I'm like, no, it was that old guy over there. (laughs) It was me. And they were like, please never do that again on the water. Like, you could, like, totally, you know, someone else couldn't get the help they need because of you. I'm like, I was just telling him I was doing it. So they were, like, angry with (laughs) you. They were mad at me. All the cops showed up on the You're abusing the SOS. It was was crazy. So I didn't know. Never, like, wave, like, yay, on a paddleboard. So they never know that. the, The key to that is doing it when there's no waves. Yeah. Oh, and I'm <laughs> right? like a, I'm like a total idiot because I just didn't really realize I didn't think I was that far out because I was just kind of going. But it was actually I didn't know it was going to pick up the way that it does. Like yeah. I always yell at Liam because they talk about surfing. I feel like more than they surf. But right. I see why <laughs> because you have to know when the wave is coming. Yeah. You got to know where the wind. And I always am like, why do we sit in the car and stare at it? Just go and he's like, no, you can't because you got to know it's yeah. like a beast out there. And even when they're there. out there, they're just sitting out there for looking at it yes. forever. It drives me crazy. I'm like, I could just like him and Chris and his brother Luke just go and sit and talk about it forever. Then I learned. This is why we talk about it this before, it. because it's really <laughs> scary when you don't. Uh, Miley Cyrus is here. We're going to come back in just a second. We've got uh, new music to talk about.